Today I will be giving you a brief introduction to the Contax G system. The Contax G system is a rangefinder AF system. It has interchangeable lenses and shoots 35 millimeter film. There is a Contax G1 and a G2 body. All the lenses are AF but have body manual focus override. Lenses can be used on digital cameras but need to have an active adapter for focusing. Lens selection is medium, going from an extreme wide angle 60 millimeter hologon to a 90 millimeter f2.8 lens with only one zoom in the lineup. Focusing on these cameras can be a little annoying sometimes due to the old AF, but it's all about learning how it works. All glass is made by Carl Zeiss and is stunning and even sometimes adapted to Liga M. Contax G uh, system, what do you call it, a rangefinder? It is a rangefinder system. It is a rangefinder, let's, let's call it a hybrid rangefinder. Yeah. Um, this is a cool, cool system, I really like it. It's a, I think it was underrated when it came out and now it's in the hype machine. Yeah, it's this picking is a, up in popularity by yeah. the day. But I think the strong suit of this system is the Carl Zeiss glass. The 45 is very high lens and it's even said it's the sharpest rangefinder standard lens. Oh, some and people convert it to M mount. Yeah, and I, I can almost agree. It's very sharp lens and beautiful planar Carl Zeiss design. It's a, it's a stunning lens. Yeah, and there's plenty of glass on the lineup. You yep. have uh, the Hologon 16 yep. millimeter. 21. 21, 28. 35. 40, yeah, 35. 45, there's even a zoom. 35, 70, but you need to use the newer G2 or the upgraded uh, body. G1, to, yeah. With a green label, yeah. which is what they look, uh, people search for. And um, 35 millimeter system, interchangeable mount. Who do you think is looking into something like this? Maybe someone that doesn't want a Leica? Yeah, um, yeah, I think this goes in hand in hand with the same uh, target demographic, but I think this is the perfect uh, travel camera when you're expecting great quality this doesn't there's no like fall off in the image quality in this size and this is a you know a mirrorless sized camera in the now nowadays it's a yeah it's just all around I, I i always feel like it's a compromise between like a rangefinder like a like i am mm -hmm. and maybe a point and shoot yeah because you have the af glass mm -hmm. you really don't want to usually use the manual settings for focus but yep uh, but they are there. The quality is up there with Leica, like 35, I mean, interchangeable lenses. Mm -hmm. The flash works really nice, yep. which is also a great benefit. Yeah, the TLA 200, which is like the go-to. I don't know, there's something about the flash that will, the, how this camera exposes flash, there's something beautiful about it. If you've ever seen a guy called Jürgen Teller, of course you have, you know, the flash just works with this system. Yeah. And I think part of the demographic here, we have to talk about the aesthetic of the camera. This is a beautiful looking camera. Yeah. Titanium body, solid, nice looking titanium color, or there's the black one. Uh, lens hoods are all metallic. Yeah, which is everything amazing. is like, this is a premium. This was a premium camera. This was a very expensive camera when it came out in, let's say comparing to a Nikon or Canon of the era. And availability, I think it's still fairly easy to find. They make yeah. quite a lot of them. The G1 can be found for, I think, a pretty good price. Yep. The the AF is a little bit more finicky on the yep. G1, but it's more one. If you take your time and yeah. think about it, it's the 90s camera. And, and learn the system. Yep. Like you want to learn the system. Don't shoot one roll and judge on that. Shoot yeah. multiple this rolls. Is not a sports camera. Yeah. You don't want to focus fast. It's, you know, like you said, the 90s, you know, a like rangefinder style camera. Oh, yeah. I'm just hopping onto the 90. I think this is a pretty overlooked lens. I have to agree, this is a, a stunning portrait lens. Yeah. And very underrated lens. It's a, you know, Carl size 90, 28, with the AF this size. No, it's very small, very like, com like compact, small, and a 90 millimeter on this with the AF. Yeah, I fully agree. Yep. And also one of the cheapest lenses in the system. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, let us know, what do you think of the contacts? Are you maybe one of those that wants the point and shoot T2 or the T3? This is a great option with way more settings mm -hmm. and interchangeable lenses. Uh, you can check it at camerastore.com. Uh, leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.